Hey guys, welcome back to my channel C4D Wala and in today's video we are going to create this pencil animation inside of Cinema 4D so without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D so first thing first we need to create a pencil model which is gonna be a very simple one so let's create one cylinder like that then press and D on your keyboard so you can create this edges and vertices now rotational segment let's make it 6 height let's make it 2000 like that and press S like this and now select the cylinder and height segments I'm gonna type 140 like this and press C to make this object editable select these points hit ctrl a to select all the points so right click and choose optimize now select those edge go to the bottom of this and press u l on your keyboards to we can select this edge right click and we will choose what we call bevel and bevel it like that and let's increase the subdivisions like this now go to the top view i mean not top view but at the top of this model select this select those points I'll select this move tool and I'll select this point only and let's move this over here if you see right view press s yeah like this now select those face selection and press u l and we can select this face in the loop right click and choose what we call let's say loop path cut and create one edge over here like that and select this move tool now double click on the material panel and apply this material to this pencil select this material and let's make it red like this and select uh, double click of to create another material double click on it let's choose something like wooden color like this then enable this bump go to the texture choose noise select this let's make it 10 like that and close it now select this model select this faces press u l and select this much portion and apply this color to this selection like that if you hit ctrl r we will get something like this now again create another material and let's make it complete black and close it select this select this and press u l again to select this portion and apply this material to this selected portion so if you hit s and if you hit ctrl r our pencil is almost ready now what we will do we will create one circle and press let's increase the radius to let's say 600 like this go to the deformers and choose twist deformer move this twist inside this circle select this and make it fit and let's increase the angle to 180 so as you can see we will get this kind of stuff now we will add our camera in your scene like that and decrease the field of view horizontal and then select this cylinder and press s s again sorry select this and press s yeah now what we will do we will select this right click and current state to object so we will get this uh, circle spline over here now we will select this and we will hide it or simply alt hold and double click on this icons so we will get this spline press r for rotation and by holding shift i'll rotate it like that and now we will add our another deformer called spline warp and let's move this inside the cylinder like that and we will insert our spline over here as you can see we are getting weird stuff so select this spline and let's change it to plus y as you can see we'll get this kind of thing and if you want to change this too you are free to do that but if you see over here we will get this kind of weird uh, what we call deform so to get rid of it what we will do we will select these plants and let's hide it for a second now we will in, uh, disable this camera because i don't want to change the camera view so select this cylinder and let's go over here select this faces press u l 
I am going to select this face first. Right click and choose loop part cut and by holding shift I am going to create one cut over here and I will click on this plus icon so it will create multiple cuts over here. Now same thing I will follow for this one also by holding shift I will create one cut over here and with the help of this plus icon it will create another cuts. Now disable uh, enable our camera and let's enable our spline also like that so as you can see we will get the shift over here like that now if you want you can select this circle again uh, and press t for scale it down and if you zoom in we will get this kind of animation now you can select this spline you can create one keyframe at the offset and let's make it to 180 if you want you can increase the it to further and i think uh, let's go to the 180 and let's make this offset 100 proper create one keyframe right click animation and choose show f curve so sorry we uh, yeah select this offset hit ctrl a and select this offset let's select this make and make it linear like that so if you hit play now we will get this kind of pencil animation which is gonna be in the form of loop and if you want you can do another thing you can select this spline and if you want then you can rotate it like that for example initially create one keyframe over here go over here and let's make it 360 and create another keyframe again select this right click choose show f curve and hit ctrl a and make it linear so hit ctrl shift z again so as you can see we will get this rotation animation also for the pencil now uh, what we need to do we need to add uh, some lights in our scene so you can add area light you can increase the size of it go to the top view press e and let's move this over here press r rotate it like that and then rotate it like that go to the right view press e w and move this over here and select this light general go to the shadows and choose area light and if you hit ctrl r obviously you will get this kind of results now select this light go to the top view press e and by holding ctrl create a duplicate press r w and rotate it like that and if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of results now select both the lights press e hold ctrl and move it downwards press r and rotate it like this and now if you see we will get this kind of stuff now if you want you can uh, hide one light also so we will get this kind of results uh, now uh, i am going to create one plane press r for rotation rotate it like this by holding shift increase the sizes go to the top view press e and move this over here and if you want then you can apply this red color over here also and if you hit ctrl r over here as you can see we will get this kind of results you can apply any color like this but you will get that noisy texture over here so with the help of this kind of techniques you can cre create this kind of pencil animation if you want you can select this press t and you can scale it the size of this pencil also like that and if you hit ctrl r we will get this infinite animation of this pencil you can simply select this color go to the luminance panel and you can add red color over here 